Well, some strong wind and all of that rain from last week made for some scary moments in North Georgia this afternoon. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now from Autumn Trail in Catoosa County, where a large tree fell on a teenager there. Alyssa, how is he doing? Hey, good evening, guys. This is exactly what happened. Take a look at this tree right here. We're at 345 Autumn Trail. We're told 16-year-old Julian Ritchie was walking outside to go to his car to leave. This is when this car, take a look at this, toppled over, fell on top of him here. Now, the good news is he is okay. Uh, we're told that this tree really hasn't kind of wanted to fall over before, I guess. But like as David was talking about, the soggy weather is causing the causes tree just to plane uproot. We're told he was knocked out for a couple minutes, but EMS responded here. They took him here to the hospital. He is expected to be okay. He was knocked out, but this, just as you can see, this weather proves to be a very dangerous situation. Now, we can just prove that this is a dangerous thing, but other areas and other crews are preparing for things like roadways as they get ready for this winter season. Tennessee Department of Transportation crews are loading up and getting ready to hit the road. But before they do, there's a few tasks they need to finish. First, pull out the truck and load it with salt. <laughs> Director of Operations Ken Flynn says they're ready for whatever weather comes our way. We line up our trucks, we load them up with their necessary equipment for what we anticipate them having to face, and then we, we place them in advance of the storm front coming through just in case. It starts with filling the trucks with salt from this salt bin. Then, if duty calls, they go out on the roads and salt the street. Sometimes they use a mixture of salt and beet juice to keep the roads from being too slick. But there's only so much they can do. Which is why your local auto repair shop can be a big help. Charles Miller at Hicks and Transmission Total Car Care is at your service, waiting to help. The main things you look at is, is it going to be safe to drive? Uh, you want to make sure you check their coolant and make sure that it's going to be below the freeze point. In other words, if, if the, it gets below 32 degrees, is their coolant going to freeze up and bust an engine block or something like that? Another thing to look out for is your tires. Miller says to put your best tires on the back and the older ones on the front. Also, check your tread. So we put two different tires to the test. Some checked out. This is the newer tire, and the tread depth on it is 14 30 seconds. And some didn't. It's at about 6 30 seconds. So he's got another couple 30 seconds, but by the time the winter's up, this tire will be used up. Take a look right here. The tree actually went through the roof here, but as far as what the homeowner tells me, he said he's going to keep a closer look on his trees here in the yard from now on. And as far as Ken Flynn with TDOT, he says that they're going to start icing roads, if necessary, on I-75 on the major interstates and then move on to the state highways and then to those city roads. Reporting here in Catoosa County, Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. Okay, thanks, Alyssa.